Bernard Bernie Valdez was one of Denver's most beloved and respected Latino leaders. He devoted his life to creating opportunities for Latinos across the state, calling upon lessons he learned during the Great Depression. His wife, Dora, who fought at his side, fondly remembers Valdez's compassionate and collaborative spirit. He cared about people and he cared about making things better for the community and for people. Valdez founded and was the first chairman of La Raza, the country's first Latino-based nonprofit agency, now known as Claro. The organization was formed in 1964 in the midst of a national movement to address the social and educational needs of Latinos. He's also a co-founder of the Latin American Educational Foundation. Valdez was a visionary leader who sought partnerships and solutions for what he believed the Latino community deserved. He was very collaborative and he knew that this wasn't a fight that could be accomplished alone. When he was advocating for the voice and the rights to education and housing for Latinos, he was building coalitions to do that. The son of migrant farmers from New Mexico, Valdez's fight for social justice began at an early age. He credited the Civilian Conservation Corps, an organization designed to help young men find jobs during the Great Depression, as his inspiration for becoming a leader in his community. At the Conservation Corps Woodland Park Camp, he was surrounded by young people from all walks of life and levels of education. He quickly learned English and set off on a path of social service. It was, it was pretty amazing, you know, no matter where, where they came from, what their culture was, what their political affili affiliation was, he just loved people and, and he always found the best in you. After graduating from Colorado State University, Valdez became a leader in the Department of Labor's World War II Bracero program. In that role, he traveled with migrants who faced racism and adversity. During one of those trips, he saw a sign that denigrated Mexicans. He stopped the train, approached the company's owner, and courageously voiced his objections. He stopped it and, and went to the company and said, those signs aren't taken out immediately. We'll just keep on rolling down the train line to the next town and pick their crops instead. So, of course, those signs were all immediately removed. Valdez managed Denver social services programs and served as president of the Denver School Board. In 1964, he spearheaded a youth program called the Job Corps, which became a national model that is still active today. I think his legacy is that of a fighter. I mean, he really laid down the foundation to re tell not just Latinos, but the world that we're here and it's our responsibility to fight for ourselves. Valdez was a constant voice to those who did not have one. His influence is recognized throughout Denver. Two buildings are named in his honor, the Bernard Valdez Hispanic Heritage Center and the Valdez Perry Branch Library in North Denver. In addition, his work is celebrated annually at Claro's Bernie Valdez Awards. He loved the Western Slope. Um, he loved some Oleta corn and some Palisade peaches. I mean, he'd give you the shirt off his back, but don't ask for his last jar of peaches. 